So this is part two of your math class and as you can see I'm in a different setting because I thought it would be fun to do something different because I assume that you're very tired now after all these thinking about grouping and about the worksheets and everything it has been so much so I think it's time for a fun and interactive activity. So what do you need for this activity? You will need a blank sheet something like this and you need some pencils. It doesn't matter if you can choose something like this or the same pencils that you have at school. It doesn't matter. And if you want, you can also get some paint. If you have that, if your parents are okay with that, you can also get that. What are we going to do? We are going to make fruits. We're going to draw some fruits. So for example, I'm using red because I'm going to make apples. How many apples I'm going to make is up to me. I decided by myself, but it has to be more than 10. So you have to choose apples over 10. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, what stuk je moet eraf uit. So So we're going we are going to make fruit. Um I'm going to make apples and I'm going to draw 11 apples. Because I need to draw over 10 apples because we're going to make groups and to make groups we have to make lots of fruits. So here we go. I drew 11 apples, it's not ready yet, don't worry. I know I'm not that creative, but I can draw, draw apples a little better. I need some. This. Are you joining me? I hope so. Good starting to look more like an apple and I have to color it as well you can make bananas, you can make apples, you can make pears, you can make whatever it's up to you, it's your project you can use the materials that you have at home, it doesn't need to be exactly the same it's fun right when you use something that you have at home and that it all started to look different. Now I'm going to color the leaves. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. So I did it as fast as I could, but you can take all the time that you need. You can pause the video, you can do anything. It's up to you, it's your project. So choose, these are apples. Let's see how many apples did I drew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because remember, you have to draw more than 10. So now, what you need to do with this? Are we done yet? Don't think so. We will have to cut the fruits. We have to cut the fruits. So you will need a scissor. Be careful with the scissors. Ask your parents first before you get something like this. Maybe it's a bit big for you or something like that, just ask. So you have to cut out all your fruits. So I'm going to cut my 11 apples. I'm making squares now, but it's because it is faster. Otherwise this video is gonna take so long. But also that you can do however you want to do that. ready why do you think that we're doing this <laughs> why do you think that we have to make over 10 fruits or why we need to cut them why do you need to do it like this because we are making oops remember that we are still talking about grouping I made 10 apples 
and uh, no, I've made 11 apples. And maybe you can make something else as well. So for example, 11 apples and maybe 15 bananas or I don't know, 12 pears. Then you will sort them. So you will have to make groups of tens because we're talking about grouping uh, with tens and extras. So what am, am I going to do? I will show it to you. Let's put the camera a little down. I think you can see it now. But so I'm going to show you later, okay? But I'm going to make groups. I'm going to put all my apples in one line. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've made one group of 10 apples and I have one extra that I'm going to put in the other line. Look, this is what I did. Can you see it? I've made a group of 10 apples and one apple over there. So how can I count this easy? If you know that you have one group of 10 apples, 10 bananas or 10 whatever, and one extra. How can we count that fast? If we know we have one group of them, do we have to count them one by one? No. You're year two, you don't need to count one by one. You can count in, you can count by twos, you can count by tens, you can count by fives. You can count by tens because you already made one group of tens. So you know that there are 10 apples plus one. How many apples do I have in total? 11. So I'll put all my apples. Look, I'll put them all together. It's difficult filming, but I'm going to put them all together so that we know that these are 10 apples and I have one here. There you go. So these are 10. It's a group of 10 plus one. How many apples do I have here? 11 so I'm going to continue making more fruits I'm going to make some bananas now and I'm going to make groups of 15 bananas so I'll make one group of 10 plus some extras do you know how many extra bananas I need to put there do you know that can you also do that can you can you also make groups of fruits? Can you cut fruits? Can you color them? And can you make groups of tens and some extras? I hope so and I hope that you've liked it. And I'm looking forward to see to seeing your fruits. So send me pictures when once you've done that if you want to. And maybe we can bring them to school so that we can continue counting um, in groups and we can group them. We can sort them, for example. Um, and those are materials that you've made. So I think that is nice. Don't you think? Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.